Hey, what's up, everyone? It is your boy Shazam Man Twenty One, and welcome to another video by your boy Shazam Man Twenty One. And for tonight's video, um, this is a lot to like take in because you know I uh, heard recently about the news that's been going on with Set the Programmer, and it's not good, man. It, it really is not good. Like. If you guys don't really know, or you guys already know, or whatnot, but just for those that um, don't know, or just like are a little like under the um, rugs or whatever, just not caught up with anything. So apparently, Seth Programmer was doing some weird shit, and I mean really weird shit. Like, of course, like from behind the scenes, apparently he was, you know, being a a massive dickhole to a lot of people you know his like friends or whatnot and yeah that sucks but um the biggest one was when the dude admitted to be talk to be like uh, essentially talking to 16 year olds and at the time when he was doing that he was you know well above the age of that and uh yeah it's not good that's not good so yeah <laughs> um it's a lot to process because, you know, as someone that has, like, watched, you know, videos like, you know, Geek the 101, Chuck, Seth, and just, like, so many others, you know, especially back in the day with, you know, Dragon Ball um, videos and stuff, those were, like, the essential guys. And Quaman too. Like, these were, like, people that um, are, like, really big Dragon Ball Z fans, and they would just, like, you know, have debates about, like, you know... You know, who's stronger, this, this, and that. And I remember just, like, seeing those videos just out of boredom, just, like, seeing how good it was. And, um, yeah, it was pr really good at the time. And just, you know, I just, you know, I was just passive about it. I was just, like, you know, I'm just enjoying the content as is. And uh, just now, <laughs> I'm, like, now looking at back at it, it's, like, uh, just with the recent news with that, it's just hard to, like, you know, wrap my head around this because, you know, I genuinely thought, you know, Seth might be a little off at times, but I'm sure he's a decent person, but nope. <laughs> Turns out he's not a decent person at all, and he has a lot of other complicated situations, and I don't know. I think there's still, like, a little bit more evidence to, like, see whether or not that's true, but from what I've, like, seen from, like, Kali's video, you know, that three-hour-long video of him, you know, essentially exposing the dude for a lot, a lot of shit, and then on top of that, um... Keemstar, I do remember him a little bit where he did his thing and I did remember, yeah, he was he was kind of a weird asshole. Whereas like now he's been making some rare common W's where it's like he's actually in the right for some interesting reasons. And uh one instance is where it's like he, he pretty much like brought a lot of people in there to like, you know, discuss about the whole situation. And I saw a few clips of it and I don't know, because I'm not watching a six-hour um, stream about that shit. Like, that's just not going to happen. But um, I did see some, like, clips on that, and wow! <laughs> wow, what's going to start going ham on Seth the Programmer? Like, he was really saying, like, you are a piece of shit. I was like, yo, you have to do something really, really bad to have even Keemstar himself, who's already a, a little bit of a weird person himself that does, like, some really fuck shit. Be saying, like, no, you're the bad fucking person. I'm like, what? It's just, it, it's silly, dude. Like, I don't know, just this whole situation, man, it just, like, got me to think, like, man, this is just, uh, give me a second, guys. Anyways, I have to quickly take a break here, but yeah, man, it's just, it's a really weird feeling to just, like, really talk about this. Like, again, as someone that has, like, watched pretty much all videos, you know, him, Swakage, and, you know, so many others, it's just, like, uh, it sucks for the anime community right now. And at this point, if that's going to be the case, then, hate to say this, but, yeah, Seth, the programmer, is getting canceled. Straight up. <laughs> if there's, like, again, proven evidence that this man has done some really foul shit, then all I gotta say is, like, tough luck, buddy. Tough luck, might as well have to take this L and possibly face some jail time. I don't know. It's just hard to say, but 
it's it's tough to like wrap your head around a lot of stuff like this because it's just like it really does suck that there's been that going on and yeah man i mean that happened and then also just like a side note because like i just heard and this is really sad to um know about this but if you guys remember Silk Goku, you know, from his, like, really wild videos with, like, you know, so many, like, great funny moments. <sighs> Unfortunately, he's dead. Like, I didn't realize, like, I thought it was just, like, you know, fake news. Like, there, there ain't no way, like, you know, Silk Goku is just, like, flat dead or whatnot. But, <sighs> unfortunately, he passed away. I don't know how he passed away, but, um, I, I really don't know, and honestly it's just more sad to me because it's just like i just got to watch you know a few of his videos like not even like two or three years ago and dude it was entertaining as fuck dude and from what i heard you know he's actually a genuinely good person too on top of that so it really sucks that he's no longer here man like that that fucking sucks like you know death is man you hate to see that man you really hate to see that so you know, recipes to sell Goku, man, like, that, that sucks that he's no longer here right now. It, it really does, and it breaks my heart to know about that, because I was just, like, I was looking forward to, like, checking out, like, so many, like, cool videos from him, and now I'm just, like, damn, my boy's gone. That's sad, dude, like, it, it really is, man. So, again, you know, my condolences goes out to, you know, his family, his friends, and his loved ones, because, man, that's got to like really 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 suck and i've also heard um too and this was on twitter and actually let me go check it out real quick all right so unfortunately i was not able to find the um other part about like another like um was it anime youtuber you know that like recently passed away or whatnot and um unfortunately i couldn't remember names and stuff so that sucks as well so if you guys uh know I'm, I'm what i'm talking about uh, drop down in the comments real quick, and, um, I should be able to, um, probably, like, mention it on my descriptions, but otherwise, um, yeah, either way, just, f for those, it was, like, uh, two people that, um, unfortunately, you know, died, it was, um, should I really explain that? Because, like, I, I don't know if I really want to, but, again, um, it's a sad situation, um, it was a car accident, and, uh, yeah, it, yeah, I can understand that because, you know, it, it really sucks, like, similarly to my, uh, cousins that I personally love and care about had unfortunately passed away because of a car accident, and, um, that happened, uh, two months ago, and it's been a, it's been tough on the family, man, so, it's just a lot going on, so, again, you know, deaths, it's, uh, it's a sad thing when it, happens in a very tragic and brutal sense like you know a car accident or not or just something very very unexpected and you know like th stuff like that so it's it's hard to say so yeah that sucks but yeah again my condolences goes out to you know the friends and families that have unfortunately you know have lost their loved ones just either suddenly or you know due to a car accident like it's never good it really is never good so, you know, my, cond my condolences goes out to them. But yeah, back to um, set the programmer and whatnot. All I'm going to say about all this is like, again, if this is true, like, I mean, if this is true, and, you know, from what I've heard and what I've seen, just from, you know, videos and evidence and just like so many compile of evidence too on just like, you know, the type of person he is, then, yeah, no, I don't really want to support the guy for doing so many fucked up shit. And, yeah, no, fuck that. Definitely deserves to be canceled for what he has done if it's proven true. And I I have nothing else to say other than this is a bit disappointing to see. But at the same time, you know, if it would be just, it would make sense just to, like, you know, cancel this person because of just you know, a lot of stuff, anyways, I'm hoping I'm making sense here, guys, like, let me know if, if I'm not making any sense, I, I don't know, guys, it's hard to, like, process all this, so, 
what I might probably be saying might be a little off at times too, but it's just like, again, it's like hard to, you know, process a lot, a lot of shit sometimes. So it's like, forgive me for that, but it's just, man, it's tough. So my final thoughts on this is like, just, you know, when stuff like this happens, you know, you just gotta just accept that, you know, you, you took it out. And if it's not proven true, you know, just, you know, Stage K said it's not true and the, we'll see. But I say this should be, I should, I think I'm just gonna let, you know, some experts that are, that are more like, you know, into this type of situation, you know, like handle their business, you know, like the courts or just any other people that have like better sources with this because this, I'm just a guy that, um, you know, does anime stuff sometimes and, you know, I do that, um, kind of as a side thing, but, you know, I, I do plan on doing it a little bit more, but, um, yeah, I'm just a guy that likes anime and just like, you know, I, I just, um, been liking a lot of stuff, you know, from Dragon Ball Z and all this other stuff. So, you know, this is again, my opinion and just from what I've heard, you could take it with a grain of salt if you guys want to. And just all I'm going to say is that again, if it is proven true that so said the programmer, himself has done all this you know fucked up shit which you know at this point he probably did and he pretty much did then you know he's a piece of shit and deserves to be canceled and i have nothing else to say other than i feel uh bad for clyde i feel bad for a lot of other people i had to like deal with him and his you know controlling behavior too like yeah i've heard too like he was being very controlling of a lot of people and even when you try to, like, you know, debate him on, like, you know, you know, some anime stuff about, like, who's better character, somehow he's, like, very controlling about that and just, like, makes you feel like shit about it instead of just, like, both of you guys are having a good time just, like, you know, just, you know, debating about, like, you know, fictional characters because at the end of the day, they're fictional characters. Like, we should, like, understand that, you know, their power levels are going to be, you know, completely different than the another, another character. So... And at the end of the day, the point about, you know, all of this, you know, with entertainment and whatnot, it's just, if you're entertained and you're having a good time, you know, enjoying the product and, um, whether or not it is like, you know, true that this character could be this character or this character could be this character, it doesn't matter. All we're doing is just having fun with it. And it should always be a fun thing. Like, yeah, debates can sometimes turn into this, this and that, but if it just ends in a positive note where both people, you know, learn from this and they become a better person, then hey, that's great. But, uh, you know, with everything, it depends. And give me a uh, second. But, yeah, anyways, all I got to say about this whole situation going on with Seth the Programmer is it's not looking good for him at all. Especially, you know, the self-snitching on, you know, the fact that he committed all those, like, heinous acts, too. So, it's like, that just sucks. And I don't know. And now looking back at my Weave Talk episode that I um, did made about, you know, like, timelines or whatnot, or just lores, I should say, and, you know, giving them a shout out, I'm like, eh, now, I, I don't know, it, it just gives me a bad taste in it, and I just kind of just, like, decide I'm probably going to have to, like, you know, either just keep it private or, honestly, probably get rid of it, I don't, I don't know, and maybe just start all over again, maybe redo the week talk episode again but i don't know i really don't know because like again if it is true that he did all this then yeah no cat i just can't like you know i don't know guys it's just it, again it's like very hard to process a lot of stuff because you know again that as someone that has like you know growing up watching these people since I was like a teenager or whatnot, and you know I'm 22 right now, um, it's it, it it's a little weird. It really is a little weird to just like you know give your support to like someone that you thought probably was like a decent person or whatnot. Then it turns out like you know they are like shadier than two motherfuckers, and I could not. So you know. I, I don't know if I'm even making the right choices here there, but all I'm going to say is, like, it's weird, it's dumb, and, yeah, it's, it's a dumb situation. 
and just for anyone that's like a content creator just don't do this type of shit all right like don't get caught up in that um situation Aww, at all i hate it's, to see him cry that's so sad yeah um <laughs> But yeah, anyways, um, that's all I gotta say about this whole situation with Seth the Programmer. I think I already said what I already said about it. Again, if it is true, like if it's proven facts that this person has done some things, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna be uh, on the safe side and say like it, it's probably true that he did all this, then, you know, all I have left to say about this is, wow, Seth, what the fuck is going on with you, man? You need some help. And um, at the same time... I don't know, just... Uh, yeah. I've already said what I said, so... Um, anyways, I'm just gonna just let that be, and just, like, you know, continue to make videos how I still continue to make videos. It's just that that particular We've Talk episode, I might have to do, like, a re-upload, or I might have to redo it again. And on top of that, you know, if I see that there's, like, something, like, you know... It, very problematic about like a person like you know to a point where it's like you where people are like warning me like oh yeah this person is like really hard to work with you gotta be careful with this this and that then personally or and professionally i do not want to work with that person just be, just be on the safe side because I, I would again i go with you know just like just keeping things you know on a bit of a positive note at times you know i don't want to bring such like negative drama about like some bullshit which at the end of the day it's like it is what it is like drama is going to be a thing but at the same time just here i don't go around just like you know wanting drama around you know like my weave talk episode to you know my community and all this other stuff like nah nah i don't want to deal with that so instead you know i just would rather just keep it you know professional and respectful and whatever and if we don't if there's like ways that we cannot collaborate on here and there because of reasons then it's like understandable but if it's like the reason as to why i can't collaborate with them is that they might be a very problematic person and i got to be like extra careful and more importantly you know um don't set the alarms or whatever then i'm gonna be like nah i don't even think i want to work with that person at all because uh i don't want to do you know, I, I don't know it's just like basically walking on eggshells in a uh, very toxic relationship that Unfortunately, I had to go through as well. I won't go into too much details on that, but you know, it's just it's a similar thing And it's just like I I can't I don't want to walk on you know constant eggshells to try to like, you know Not set up like triggers or alarms because you know this person might try to like, you know Assault me or just like try to like, you know Verbally assault or do something stupid. So like I'm gonna be like, you know what if you're the type of person to like you know, get angry and just like, you know, so much that you decide to like do some crazy stuff like that, then nah, can't, I can't deal with you, bro. Like, you're not, you know, you got to get this, you know, under control. But otherwise, yeah, that's all I got to say. I uh, said what I said about, you know, with Seth and whatever. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm going to, again, I'm going to continue to make, you know, videos here and there. And uh, this time around, I just got to be, you know, more co bit more uh, cognitive about you know who to trust and just like i guess like background check pretty much just make sure that you know they um are dope not like just dope people but like they're decent people like i wouldn't mind if they're like decent but have like you know some things but it won't just be so bad where it's like you know it's like alarming so otherwise you know that's all i gotta say about that situation We'll see what happens, and yeah, that's it. Uh, anyway, since it's your boy Shazman21 sign out, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments on how you feel about this whole entire situation. Um, you know, like, we can maybe have a bit of discussion as to, you know, what would, what it's like to be, like, a content creator, especially of that caliber, and just, like, how, you know, if you make any type of, like, mistake, like, you know, such as, like, in this case with what Seth pretty much probably did, you know, with the essentially a minor then yeah um and how like it can be a repercussion effect kind of like you know what happened with edp 445 where he did his uh thing you know cupcake innocent did or whatnot like how that can be a like drastic effect on a person for a very long time and just like i don't know just stuff like that i'm like uh 
just don't do that. Like, again, some people might have some like falls in there and have like some stuff that they gotta go through. But I will definitely tr turn the other cheek around when I see that these particular people are like you know a lot older than you know the consent age of eighteen, and then you know they're out here essentially like dating minors or having sex with minors or just having sexual encounters with them. Just like, you know, trying to force them to have sex or whatnot. Like, uh, nah. No, 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 no. We don't we don't play around here in the Shazman Nation with that shit like that. No. No. That's disgusting. Don't do that shit. If you are a 20, 30-year-old man or whatever and up, don't do that shit. Like, just don't do that. Like, just for once, just date someone in your own age group. Like, I don't care if you're, like, 40. There's probably plenty of 40-year-old women that might like yo ass i don't know <laughs> i don't fucking know just don't be a fucking weirdo that's all it like try, I, I think just everyone just needs to like do their best you know be at least decent and just like you know be working towards you know bettering themselves but if you start to do some weird shit like this then yeah no dude that's a bit much like you you're either gonna have to like get this shit really checked out or possibly face some jail time. I don't fucking know. It's, uh, yeah, no. I don't, I don't think I want to go any further than that. But anyways, this is your boy, Shazman21, signing out. Um, I don't want to talk about this anymore because it's getting a bit uncomfortable for me. So, um, yeah, I, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. So, it, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, Clyde and um, the others have to, like, deal with this. Or have to, like, deal with that crap, you know. don't No longer have to, like, deal with that and can, like, strive to, you know do better as people and, and i think that's all we can do really but yeah anyways that's all i gotta say about that situation and yeah um that's it anyways i i gotta go this is nah anyways this is what shadow man's 21 sign now i'll see you guys in another video um that i'm gonna make uh here pretty soon but yeah i i can't i want to say peace love and positivity but i i would feel like uh, i don't know if i want to say that because that's just like with this, like, you know, particular, particular video I'm talking about, I don't know if I want to say that. So, all I got to say is just be safe out there, guys. If there's someone that's being, like, a weirdo and they're, like, out there doing the most, you know, just take that as a sign that they're doing the most and, you know, report that, please. Because, like, yeah, no, we don't, uh, I don't know. Anyways, I, I can't anymore. This is just disgusting. <sighs> Anyways, be safe out there, guys. If there's a weirdo out there, just stay the fuck away from them. Just just, just stay the fuck away from them. You know, stranger danger. Stranger danger. <sighs> Anyways, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Stay safe out here. Peace.